At some point, we've all gotten bored playing GTA. Whether you're doing too many heists or you just simply own everything, this list should help cure your boredom. Because I wouldn't found the most fun things that any of you can be doing right now, starting with one of my personal favorite things to do, watching other players struggle. Which may sound messed up, but if you go in your CEO, you can sit on the couch and then turn on the TV and flip through channels and eventually it'll let you spectate anybody. I've literally seen level 1s blow themselves up, level 30s do the most random glitches and even high levels robbing gas stations and all i gotta do is sit back and watch and i'm constantly entertained and that's honestly just one of the many different ways to keep yourself entertained like another thing i like to do is just bust random myths in gta i've made so many shorts like this and they're some of my favorite videos to make i literally just go on reddit and find people that make some of the craziest claims you've ever heard of and then test to see if they're true and see that one was not true npcs can clearly swim out of pools myth busted a similar thing you can do is try and solve some of the crazy GTA theories out there. Like for example, there's the Mount Chiliad mystery located right here on the map. There's this art that looks like it has symbols of secrets in the mountain. There's the Yellow Jack Inn, which is home to some of the weirdest Easter eggs in GTA 5. And there's even theories that Nico Bellic from GTA 4 owns this place. So yeah, if you're bored, go and try to solve some of these. It should only take you forever. But if that's too much work, consider just grabbing a dirt bike and going to scale the mountains for as long as you would like. We've all done this at some point, and let's be honest, have you ever been mid backflip and just think, ugh, I'm super bored right now? No you haven't even if you're not doing flips just seeing how much air you can get and what kind of landings your character can take is so much fun i also like playing these games of stunts with my friends which is like horse and basketball where i do a trick and if i land it my friend has to do it too or he gets a letter and first one to spell out stunt loses it's super fun honestly but possibly even more fun is acting like an npc this is another thing we've all done but let me show you how to maximize the fun with it first thing we're obviously going to want to walk into a clothing store and then walk out with the straight NPC outfit. Then just go off the radar so other players can't see you on their map. And from here, there's a couple things you can do. One, just try to walk past online players without being noticed. You can try and drive like an NPC and even cross the entire map with following every single law. And if you're a full-on psychopath, you can even try and make money without breaking laws, which is super hard, I won't lie. You could also just try and make money on a brand new account. I mean, the biggest reason you're probably bored in GTA is because you literally own everything. Thing. And starting over will definitely suck at first, but maybe try different money methods you've never really used before. Definitely try making different types of outfits than you have on your main account. And overall, just try to have like a completely different GTA experience. And also, let's be honest, if you have two good GTA accounts, you can flex on your friends. But if you don't feel like starting over, that's cool. I get it. But maybe consider doing some of the achievements. I mean, there's a bunch of different ones, and a lot of them are honestly pretty boring. But if you scroll through all of them, surely you'll find at least one you can have fun doing like personally i had fun just driving around trying to find all 50 stunt jumps because some of them are just so random like look at this bro how is this a stunt jump there's even like different figures around the map you can go collect but yeah doing really any of these should help pass the time or you could do one of my other personal favorite things to do which is escaping five star wanted levels in the weirdest ways i usually will get five star wanted and then think of some crazy way to try to escape the cops like maybe not using a vehicle or like escape them while following all of the traffic laws you can really try any way you want like some of my friends have lost a five star wanted level by stealing a cop car and then driving over to the police station and just sitting there and the cops didn't notice somehow or like you could get in the tank to see how long you can survive a five star wanted level there's honestly endless different things you could do but yeah if you escape the cops in some crazy way definitely let me know in the comments and this next one's a little messed up but it's super funny to straight up just spread lies which is another thing i've made a couple videos on or since we all know npc are annoying one of my favorite things is we can now turn them off but i always say it's a joke at the end of the video even though the comments don't always understand that but yeah you could do something like tell your friends that there's a secret space docker at some location across the map and then make them drive there then when you get there and your friend obviously doesn't see the space docker you can mess with them sort of like see bro i told you free space docker i wasn't lying there ain't no god <laughs> bro it's literally right there and yeah just keep messing with them and if you really wanted to you could take this so much farther like send them screenshots like this with text saying bro gta just added real cars you can tell them about a secret npc that if you take them out you get 10 million dollars and the list goes on or you could do this next one which is to see what cars you can get up mount chiliad i will say this can come with some side effects like depression <laughs> you've got to be kidding me anger i'm so 
dumb, bro. But it can also be fun getting in some of the most random vehicles you can find and trying to scale your way up to the top of Mount Chiliad. I've even seen people get like dirt bikes and wheelie up the whole thing or even landing planes at the very top. I don't know. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Just try not to get too mad if things don't work out. But possibly even more fun is going Easter egg hunting. And I actually think I know one that takes place on Mount Chiliad. Okay, yeah. So we all see these NPCs like scaling the mountain, right? Well, when they make it to the top, they actually stop and take a picture of the view, which is a pretty cool little detail. But obviously there's a bunch more like secret rooms you can't get into, weird giant bugs around the map, bunch of glitchy objects, even doors that literally remove the GTA skyline. I don't know. I could go on for a while. I know quite a bit of them, but if you find any new ones, definitely let me know. And if you're extremely bored, this next one could take hours, but it's something to do. Basically the goal is to find an NPC and then follow them to the other side of the map. So yeah, I'm just going to follow this NPC for like 20 minutes and we'll see where we end up. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. We're honestly not that far from where we started, but if you get lucky and find the right NPC, I'd say it's probably possible to end up on the complete other side of the map. You can even do the same thing with following cars, even though it's obviously a little bit easier. Like, yeah, that was probably roughly 20 minutes, and we're actually kind of far from where we started at. But I honestly think even more fun is trying to stop the GTA train. And before you start typing again, let me explain. So we all know the train's impossible to stop or is it? I mean, have we really tried every way possible? Like, obviously, putting cars on the track or standing in front of the train isn't gonna stop it, but if you use every last brain power you have, maybe you can think of something and become the next Vanoss Gaming. Yeah, yeah we stopped the train! Or you could turn to a life of glitches. And I don't mean some god mode glitch so you can take over your entire session. I'm just saying something harmless, like clothing glitches. Like, literally just look up clothing glitches, and there are more than you could possibly imagine and they can actually make you some pretty decent outfits. And really, it doesn't even have to be clothing glitches. There's other harmless glitches like speed glitches, car glitches, money glitch. <laughs> Kidding, don't do money glitches, you'll get banned. But next up, there's literally hundreds of cars in GTA, so try using them to have some fun. Like, get out your vigilante and come to this location and just launch cars off of a bridge. <laughs> Use some of your massive vehicles to create a roadblock to stop as many cars as possible and obviously after all of it. Maybe take out one of these bikes you haven't touched in years and hit the skate park for a bit. Try and actually learn how to control a scramjet so you don't just end up in the water. And yeah, your vehicles can definitely be pretty fun. And if you have a PC, definitely try to download mods. And not online mods to mess with other players. Just try and download some story mode mods. There's websites with thousands of different mods to choose from. And as long as you stay in story mode, it's completely allowed. Some of my favorite ways to have fun with this is driving around real life cars. I can give myself some weird insane power-ups. I can change the weather however I want. I mean, there's really nothing you can't do. Another thing is if you open open your stats and realize they're terrible, you could try to get them up. But specifically what I like to do is find some random stat like cops taken out and then just go eliminate as many cops as I possibly can. So later I can go up to my friends and be like, hey, yo, how many cops have you taken out? Uh, a couple hundred. Why? Okay, that's not terrible. I'm at like 7,000. And you can do it with literally any one of your stats. Just try to get it insanely high. And it's pretty funny to hear people's reaction. And if nothing I have mentioned in this entire video so far sounds like something you're interested in, then maybe just uninstall GTA 5 and wait for GTA 6.